Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to build the... I've completely forgotten the name of it and for that matter where in fact it is in here. It comes under an appearance item and it's the Kubro Collar. There it is. The Kavasa Prime Collar. Now the blueprint for this is obtainable what was it? Tower 4 Mobile Defense. The band which is that one. I know it doesn't actually say what it is, but it's just from the image. Um, the band was a Tower 4 Sabotage. Not a problem with them too. The buckle here, which Neon Wild Fox has actually just saved my life with because I literally ran out of keys. Turns out doing all these challenges on Tower 4 Exterminate has backfired badly and I ran out of keys. And Neon Wild Fox here has, let's just say, hooked me up massively. So thank you very much to them. And that drops, as I said, Tower 4 Exterminate. And this thing only takes 12 hours to build, so I'm really going to be interested to see how this works out. For the past week I've been looking at this and trying to figure out how exactly I'm supposed to do this. So, yeah, um, this collar is not worth it. It adds 10 shields, 15 health, they have buffed it in the past week. It now also adds 100 armor. The 100 armor is worth it. If you use the cool bro all the time, yes, this is definitely going to be worth it because that little bit extra shield, little bit extra health is going to come in useful. The added armor is going to come in insanely useful, especially if you have a really high armor frame on. Like so, now 780 armor. That is a lot for a Kubro. The shields have gone down because I have equipped uh, Valkyrie who has an insane amount of armor. Oh, the thing's been drinking caffeine again, it was just shaking away there. But visually, it's. Stop wiggling your butt at the camera. Stand up. Good Kubro. Visually, it does look really nice. You can see it's got a key on it, whereas the normal one doesn't it's just a kind of hook thing you can see that it's got like a void key on there of course it's supposed to be gold like this but I do have the custom color on the armor I did take it off once but it took me quite a while to find the correct colors for it again so it does look nice the added armor is huge if you use Kubros all the time if you do not use a Kubro all the time then this thing it's just it's a waste of time actually let's default color there it is gold with a void key on it and it does look pretty nice right up until the moment you put the armor back on and realize it's sticking out through the armor all armor then it's not so nice go back no oh, I've lost the gold and I was pink that's better so is it worth farming this Yes, again, if you use the Kubro all the time, yes, it is definitely worth it. If not, there is no mastery for getting this thing. There is nothing for getting this thing. And I should really take the armor back off. Yes, that's right, by the way. I have a Lotus Kubro I am covering up with the Ifrit armor. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. But... It, it is a nice looking colour, again, worth it if you've got a Kubro and use it all the time. If not, it's just really not worth it because the armour covers it up and most of the time you're just not going to notice it because it only has 10 shield and 15 health. If it was 10% extra health or shields even and 15% extra health, yes, this thing would have been worth it. It's still worth getting just for the hell of having it, to be honest, but is it worth going out of your way to farm it for the sake of 100 extra armor if you don't use the Kubro? Well, I guess that's up to you, really.